an open heart. We'll yes. see the very latest. You got an update? Well, it, yeah, I have. Um, uh, it's, there's no smoke without fire, as they say. We heard that a bid was rejected. Um, now, I've spoken to the people from South Melbourne who have got a wonderful football tradition in this country. Of course, they'll be the first Australian team ever to go to that competition. I said the World Club Championship. We actually played them when I was at Manchester United in 2000 in Rio de Janeiro. Now, they've put together a consortium um, who have made, uh, I think it was two bids, um, which the first and the second bid have been rejected by Melbourne Heart, but they are serious, and I don't think this will go away. They will keep making bids. The, bid, the, the second bid that they made, which was rejected, was well in excess of $3.5 million. Um, they have secured major corporate sponsors, if they are, um, to fulfil their ambition and for this bid to happen and to take over the, the Melbourne Heart. They also wanted to point out as well that they do have football's best interests at heart. They have a long tradition, no pun intended when I said that, long tradition, like I said, in the game. And, uh, and uh, already Emerson, a famous Brazilian international who played, of course, for Roma, Real Madrid and Juventus, uh, has expressed, a, expressed an interest of getting involved should this consortium be successful. So a lot of big decisions for Melbourne Heart. One of the teams um, who uh, have been having to sell players to make sure that they, they balance up the books um, unfortunately for them, finished second last last season. Um, just goes to show it's very, very difficult when you have to sell your best players continually to balance the books to get the right balance then on the pitch. So they've got some big decisions to make over the coming months, but it's a really big compliment uh, for the A-League that we've got people like this interested in, in investing in one of our football clubs. Mm. Terrific, Mark. Thank you. I know you two are old friends, but always pleasure.